Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name's David, and this is a Magic Review. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thanks so much for being here. Starting off a brand new week with an absolutely killer release. This is Odyssey from Peter Turner and Louis Laval. It is a nine file over four hours long masterclass on the Q&A, considered by many a mentalist to be one of the best routines you can do in parlor or stage. Uh, no stone unturned. Louis Laval, Peter Turner, sitting down at a table to enjoy uh, a table full of drinks. <laughs> they got a, a, like a dining room table set up with uh, a camera that's kind of facing everybody. Peter and Lewis are sitting side by side. There's a big uh, carafe of liquor there in the, in the center of the table. And then around the table, they've got four friends who are there to be your eyes and ears to ask questions. Some of them are magicians, some of them aren't. And they're there to be the, the spectators, right? They're there to ask and answer questions. $83 American, and you can find it at Lewis Laval's website at Mindhouse. Um, yeah, massive download, massive download. And here's, here's the thing that I thought was really cool. And we're seeing this more and more from digital content creators, just finding new ways, new creative ways to, to give us content. To be honest, over four hours of material is a lot, right? Is a lot. And when you don't have any like parlor performances or stage performances or like walk around street performances, to sit there in the same room with them and see the same shot for four hours is, is a lot, right? And when it's a masterclass, it's almost like done as this stream of consciousness where you're just you know, getting the ideas as they, as they roll out. Lewis thought about this and what he did was he re-prepared the entire masterclass as an audio file. Really, because that's, you, that's a lot of it is just listening, right? It's just ideas. And so I would say if you're an intermediate mentalist and you think you already are familiar with a lot of the standard mentalist techniques, right? You understand. You could download the audio file and listen to it on the airplane, right? Or listen to it on a long drive or while you exercise right? Or while you're cleaning the house, like just put the audio file on and listen to it. And it almost becomes like a podcast. It sounds like a podcast. So that's a great idea and a great option. If you, if you feel like, wow, sitting down to, to watch all that would be a long time. It is. The other nice thing though, is that it's broken up. So instead of just one long file, um, I believe it's only nine downloads, nine videos. And one of the videos is just close-ups. So they do have a section where, because of some of the um, peaks and the card moves that they go over, there is a video that's just close-ups. So really, there's only eight videos, I believe. And then the, the PDF. The PDF is massive, 147 pages. 147 pages PDF. So yeah, so for, uh, let, let's just recap, 83 bucks, you get nine files, one of them's a close-up, um, you get the audio file that you can listen to, and you get almost 150 pages of PDF. What's on the video? First off, I'm gonna say I am biased. I am biased. I watched this video with rose-colored glasses on because I absolutely love both of these gentlemen. I love Peter Turner, I love Louis Laval, I have loved everything that they've contributed to the magic and the mentalism community. To be fair, at over four and a half hours, this goes well above just talking about, you know, a, the Q&A. Because if you've ever watched Peter Turner before, you know he shares stuff openly and very freely. So the amount of material you get in this goes well above just the Q&A. You watch this, you are gonna walk away a better mentalist. And I would even argue you could watch this as a beginner and you could get a lot of foundational tools. 
You also get a very unique perspective here as far as teachers go, because Peter Turner, who does a lot of street magic, one-on-one -on -one magic, corporate stuff, Lewis, who does a lot of parlor stuff, stage stuff. So a lot of ground is covered in all venues. You get a lot of ideas for all of these arenas, especially ideas in how to make mentalism um, not seem so flat, you know? A lot of mentalism can look the same. So they talk a lot about how you can add some dimension to your act, how to have your spectators walk away remembering your act, even so far as uh, what you can give them as far as souvenirs. And at over four hours long, I think it would be hard for me to run back through everything that you're gonna learn because the amount of information you get is incredible. Peter, of course, is gonna teach you his easy name guess. He and Lewis will give you a handful of peaks and you'll learn about how the one ahead principle works, which really is the backbone of a Q&A act, you know? First, they, they gotta go in there and lay a strong foundation. Then there's lots of new ideas here and also some classic stuff. For instance, Lewis covers his Delphi and OPT releases, and then they're gonna move into routining. They talk about the technique behind how you answer a spectator's question. And you get info for doing this both for one-on-one -on -one and parlor and stage. You're gonna get a propolis pin divination as well as some other creative ideas, including one with fortune cookies. Then they're gonna go over all the tools of the trade of course, they'll cover a lot of stuff with billets. I mentioned peaks, but there's also billet marking and also a section from both of them on how to incorporate playing cards, which of course I loved. The PDF covers scripting and how to put your act together. There's a couple of essays in there and notes about the show that you watched. And as far as difficulty goes, I would say uh, it's great for beginners. I do because I think they start from the ground up and they give you a solid foundation, but I think there is information for everyone, people of all skill levels, including paid professionals. All right, so what's my takeaway? What did I think? Um, first of all, I would have to say, I have a lot of Peter Turner stuff. I have a lot of Louis Laval stuff. I do, I have a lot of their stuff. So I don't know that in the grand scheme of things, I walked away thinking, oh, that was a brand new technique. I didn't know anything about that right? Because really a lot of mentalism is based on very old, very classic techniques, right? It's just all about how you spin it in a brand new way. And I think that's what you learn. You know, you're not going to learn some incredible way to get information that you're like, oh, I didn't know that, right? <laughs> but I think it's the way you apply it, right? When you watch them as professionals and you know their style and you see how they take those time-tested uh, techniques and how they apply them. I think that's that's the gem. And to be honest, I don't I don't do a Q and A act. In fact, I don't do a lot of mentalism for parlor and stage. I, that's more of a personal thing I do, uh, you know, on, in one on one. And I don't know that I will ever do a Q and A act for parlor or stage, only because I feel like to do a to do a Q and A act, you really have to be quick on your feet, right? And I'm sure that if I just got over my own feelings of insecurity and just put my foot in the water and did it, right? I would find out that I could probably probably swing it. I think nerves have been the only thing that's kept me away from it. But I probably never would have thought of um, diving into the deep end before watching this. And now after having watched it, I feel like I'm better equipped. I feel like now I could um, probably feel more comfortable about putting a Q&A act in my show. Uh, so I, I feel like I walked away and I learned a lot from this. Even though going forward, I may, who knows, maybe, maybe I never do a Q&A act, doesn't matter. I feel like I'm more prepared for it if I did and I'm, I'm a better magician for just the time that I was able to sit down with Lewis and Peter and to listen to them talk. Um, well, time well spent. Absolutely time well spent. And I think if you're a big fan of either of them and uh, you've wanted to do a Q&A or you wanted to improve upon your Q&A, this is for you. This is absolutely for you. Hey, head on down to Mindhouse, peruse Louis Laval's other releases. 
uh, check out what he has to offer. And uh, he's a really friendly guy. Uh, he answers questions on social media. He's very personable. He wants to he wants to help you. And so definitely check his site out. Big huge thanks to him and Peter Turner for allowing me to have this so I could do the review for you. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.